Hi and welcome. My name is Stephanie Chiris and I lead the Red Hat Enterprise Linux business unit at Red Hat. I am absolutely thrilled to be here with you. I feel like this is my opportunity to get a chance to talk to all of you who are really driving the tip of the wave of everything that is moving forward in the IT industry today. I know you're all here to talk about containers and the amazing things that that will unlock, um, but I really am excited to get a chance to start your day zero here of KubeCon by talking a bit about how we approach this market, how we look at containerization, how we approach new technologies here at Red Hat. So first of all, I'd like to start by digging in on the technology a little bit. Clearly, at this point, I know we hear the phrase a lot, containers are everywhere, right? It really, but let me take it back to what it is. The pure root of what containerization is, is a new way to deliver applications. And let's face it, applications are what solve business problems. Now, I grew up from the hardware side of the world, but it is very clear that applications and software are what are solving business problems and infrastructure and everything underneath is what makes that happen fast, securely, reliably. So it all has to come together. But containerization is doing things that allow applications to be built faster, to be able to run anywhere. You can capitalize on the consistency of how you run those applications, build once, deploy the same way every place. Spend less on maintenance by reducing the memory footprint that's required to run on and use fewer resources, being able to build it here, deploy it in different spots, have that be crisp and clean and small, packaged exactly the way it needs to be in order to run that application. All of that is being done as part of a bigger wave of technology, things like hardware acceleration, um, infrastructure as code, new tools around observability, being able to run in a connected way. We pull all of that together and for us, clearly at Red Hat, what's core to us is that it's all being done on open source, all being done on Linux. Containers are built on Linux. Those applications are just a new way to deploy the Linux applications that folks are building. Now, the reason why this is not just about technology is all of the work that you are doing to drive that technology and get it used is also driving a culture change in IT. It's driving a change in the way we look at how teams interact. Things like the era of DevSecOps, never has it been more important for teams that have been kind of able to operate separately. Folks in the operations team, folks in the line of business, the development team. Now, in order to capitalize on what's being done in the technology world, it really requires a culture shift. The ability for those teams to connect, to work together, to engage in a different way. And that's why I'm excited that you joined us here at the OpenShift Commons Gathering. This is, for Red Hat, this is how we have approached this world for over 25 years. It is not just about what you build, it's also about how you build it and the culture that it drives and is able to sort of enliven in how folks work together. We started this over 25 years ago now in the industry when we approached Linux this way. It was how do we build enterprise software, something that meets the business needs? How do we work with the upstream communities? How do we work with the customers? Pull that together to deliver open source technology that really can make business impact. And this is what I see happening here in the world of containers as well. So let me step forward and talk to you a little bit about our platforms. I know you'll talk a lot about this here today throughout the day, but for us at Red Hat, it all starts back down at the platforms. And let me explain a bit about what I, what I mean on this. At the end of the day, right, all of us want to be able to solve business problems faster, which means we need to be able to build, to deploy, to create applications faster, get them rolled out, do that in a secure, stable way and in a way that can scale. All of us want to grow, deploy in multiple spots and do that with consistency. And that's where the platform comes in. The platform is a strategic choice 
That's how we view it, is a strategic choice to make sure that you can build on that platform once and leverage the innovation that's going to come down the pipeline tomorrow and going forward. Build it once, deploy anywhere, and be able to use that investment that you did in that development and be able to build upon it as new innovation comes down the pipeline. So it's really about making sure that you can consume innovation, but you can also do that efficiently and with all the resiliency and, and stability that you need. So as we pull in this innovation, you're not creating new islands of technology or random backs of integration, but it all pulls together and that's the role of the platform. So we started this building upon Linux. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is our platform for Linux. And I wanna talk about that in a minute because it's not just about the Linux and the bits, of course, because they're open source bits. It's about the ecosystem that comes along with it. It's about all the partners that we work with, all the testing and the certification we do with them prior to rolling out that product. But we have worked to make sure that that is delivering in this world of containers today. So it delivers for bare metal when you need that extra performance, perhaps for bare metal applications, for um, also for virtual machines, because clearly there's a lot of traditional workloads that are gonna require virtual machines. But we also wanted to make sure that containers can be deployed in many ways, right? That value of that capitalizing on consistency, right? Because that's what I hear from customers a lot. They love how containers play in that world. RHEL can allow the deployment of containers building upon Podman capabilities. Back in 2019, when we launched, launched RHEL 8, we put Podman build a Scopio directly into RHEL so that folks could start to build containers, deploy single containers, et cetera, directly on RHEL. And that starts a container journey. It gives a set of containerization capabilities that are really, I'm hearing from customers, are really required today going forward. Now, over to the right, we talk about OpenShift. OpenShift for that world of orchestration, microservices, cloud native. That's the world where the real power of containerization sort of explodes. But for us at Red Hat, we wanted to make sure that the platforms of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and OpenShift stay consistent because there is true value in that consistency. So in my role with RHEL, we view RHEL as not only just a product, a product that has um, deliverables that we have made commitments to customers on, roadmaps, lifecycle, all of that that we make um, commitments on. We also view ourselves as the underlying technology to make sure that products like OpenShift can build upon everything that we have in RHEL. A few things like SE Linux to make sure that that security capability feeds over. And in fact, we have optimized the way that RHEL is integrated into OpenShift to make sure that we are focused on the OpenShift experience. So this is what I mean when I talk about RHEL as a technology. It's both a product and a technology that feeds into the rest of the portfolio. The strength of that is that it provides a unified platform set, meaning that the culture, coming back to that, it's not just about technology, it's about culture. You create that culture of consistency where skills that they know Red Hat Enterprise Linux helps them as they move into the world of OpenShift. A consistent set of tools and really coming back to ecosystem because this open source world is all about ecosystem, that that ecosystem translate as well. We're focused at Red Hat at making sure we're creating an ecosystem that is relevant both in the RHEL world and the OpenShift world and is built to be sustainable because that ecosystem is gonna have to grow. It's going to have to adapt. So you see, we have optimized with RHEL Core OS as being that really optimized, just the packages that are needed for OpenShift, um, providing a better install, better upgrade experience for OpenShift so that you can consume those updates faster. But we view this holistically. It's about the technology. It's also about the culture that it unleashes by having a consistent set of tooling, a, a consistent set of skills that can be used and a consistent ecosystem. But platforms by themselves are not really enough. And But 
you augment that with the rest of our portfolio. And this has been the transition that we've been on at Red Hat. A few things never change. We are all about open source. We are all about getting things upstreamed. We are all about making sure that we're participating in the communities so that we're both um, leveraging and participating in all of that innovation that's happening upstream. And we're also really focused on making sure that we are bridging that world of, you know, what's happening where technology endeavors can deliver on business reality. So pulling in that feedback from customers, that has led to this portfolio that you see here. You see the underlying platforms of Red Hat Enterprise Linux at the bottom. You clearly see OpenShift feeding into that containerization world. But then on top, you have all the other things that are needed to deliver on what we view as the open hybrid cloud. It's the ability to build once, deploy anywhere, and leverage a vast ecosystem in order to do it. On the left, you see a lot of the things that we do around management, things like Ansible and Ansible Automation Platform, making sure we're delivering there. And above that OpenShift layer, you see things like the application services, building upon runtimes and integration. And of course, we have Open OpenShift storage as well, sitting there down in the infrastructure layer. It really is about us looking at this holistically, how we pull together the best of what's happening in the open source world, make sure we deliver that for the enterprise businesses and do that in a way that is integrated and comprehensive, but always building upon the consistency of that underlying platform. So I wanted to step into an example now of one spot where uh, we have been focused on, certainly you'll hear a lot about it today, but it is what everyone is talking about. And that's when it comes down to the edge. And so as we look at things, kind of how we pull all of this consistency of platform, but build upon it and augment it for use cases, edge is a perfect example of where we're focused on doing this next. So when we look at the edge world, to me, this is fascinating because I view it as really a super factor, right? It's where four things come together to really change the game. First of all, we have a wave of new app, new killer applications coming in. Things like machine learning, deep learning, really changing the game of how analytics can be done. That's one piece. You also have this world now where data is exploding. Data is being pulled everywhere all over and there's more data than we know what to do with, but there's so much value in it if you can pull it out. And third, we have just super technology in the hardware coming out, things like accelerators, DPUs, FPGAs, acceleration capabilities and smartniks and things that are becoming more generalized. Pulling all of that together with new applications data that can is waiting to be accessed and hardware that can really handle this kind of capability. You pull all of that together, supplement that with networking capabilities that is vast and fast in order to deliver. That's the world of edge that we face today. We are on the edge of, we, I use that kind of as a pun, but we are on the, the edge of a cliff here where we are able to unlock what edge can really do. And I'm seeing it happen in two ways. I'm seeing both folks who have been very invested in a data center start to move out to run that compute and pull their infrastructure closer to where the data is happening. That's causing a distributed data center type of world for edge. And also we're seeing incredible explosion in more of a uh, embedded world of edge, things in automotive and connected cars, places in um, VRAN in telco spaces that are really pushing the cutting edge, um, the cutting edge of edge. But all of this is happening to create a unique opportunity in what we're able to tackle next. But again, it is going to take the opportunity to pull culture as well as technology together in order to really be able to reap the benefits of this. So what you'll see, and you, hopefully you've heard already, uh, through this, through our announcements is that when we look at the open hybrid cloud, and again, that's the ability to build your application, deploy it anywhere, to pull in um, the most flexibility going forward and the most innovation that is available today, but also what hasn't been invented yet tomorrow, but to be prepared to consume it, that's our world of open hybrid cloud. And it's not just about what we deliver as Red Hat, it's about the ecosystem that we work with because that is essential in order to make that happen. 
but now edge becomes a core part and an extension of really that open hybrid cloud story. What we did with Linux and OpenShift in the enterprise world and in the data center world, now we take that out to the enterprise edge where there, there are different requirements. There are different needs that are um, in order to deliver in that world. There are requirements around the ability to update, may not be connected all the time. And what we have done is brought in capabilities in uh, the most recent release of RHEL, in RHEL 8.3, we have brought in specific technology features in order to be able to deliver upon that. And one thing that I love about this story is in typical Red Hat fashion, we learned so much from what was being done in the Fedora IoT special interest group. There was so much innovation going on um, in that space. We learned a ton from that and it was allowed us to pull direct capabilities from that innovation directly into RHEL, and you'll see that in, in 8.3 and those capabilities. In addition, right, we heard from customers. Uh, we had customers who were looking to move that data center out to distribute it. We got a lot of feedback from them about exactly what is needed, and we pulled that into, into RHEL. So we brought in things like uh, quick image generation, uh, efficient over the air updates because you're not always connected. We still maintain our long life cycle. So we have uh, remote device update mirroring and we have intelligent rollbacks. Um, we have done this on top of what we already have for things like management capabilities, having container toolkits that allow, and which include things like insights, allowing for better efficiency. We pull all that into RHEL to make sure that it's really ready for the edge. And you'll hear a lot about what the OpenShift team has done, making sure that you can do small clusters at the edge. Because there is not only one way to deploy containers, there is not only one way to deploy edge. Um, it will take multiple platforms and it will take platforms that are built with an ecosystem that is consistent and creates that culture to be able to consume the innovation that's going to come tomorrow. This is why I'm so excited about um, us moving into the world of edge, us pulling from what's happening in open source and contributing up in open source for the next wave of what's going to happen. It is just um, incredibly exciting for me and, and it pulls together all of the best that is happening um, around hardware, around data, around applications and clearly around the network. So this is how we view our approach to edge. It is about taking everything we have always done, bringing platforms with a portfolio and understanding the use case and the innovation that's needed to deliver in that use case, bringing in, making sure that it's all built with open source and contributing upstream to help drive that innovation and listening to those customers and working to make sure that what they need is being done upstream. And finally, working with a partner ecosystem that's relevant. This is what we've done in Linux. This is what we've done in Kubernetes. Um, and this is what we're doing to bridge that together to deliver in the world of Edge. So I am thrilled to get the chance to talk with you. We are just at such an exciting time in the industry where technology and culture come together to change the game. We've been focused on this at Red Hat for a long time. Um, and I see it coming with containers, the opportunity that we have um, and the opportunity that we jointly have around edge. It is going to take continuing to push, right? Push the, push the boundaries of what we can do, um, but it'll take us doing it together. So I hope you have a great day at OpenShift Commons Gathering. I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And um, I look forward to, uh, to engaging in this journey.